sometimes when you're in paradise, it rains. And it rains a lot. <laughs> so, I guess you gotta figure out something to do when it's raining. Hmm. Maybe I'll drink another macro beer. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Hola, Brutube. So, yo, DJ, tu gran amigo, el anfitrión de DJs Brutube. Hey there, guys. DJ here, back in Mexico again. That's right. Down here in Playa del Carmen, you know it's time to review some beer. It's rainy today, storming like hell. So, what do you do? You drink beer. And what do I have in the fridge? I've got some macro lager. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's right, and today we've got Victoria, which is a Vienna lager from Grupo Modelo, or as they're really are known and owned, AB InBev. That's right, the macro bought the macro. Big eat the smaller, I guess. Anyways, these are guys are out of Mexico City, El DF. This is a year-round serving, 4% ABV and 24 IBUs. Now, if I remember, this wasn't a horrible beer. Maybe it is. I can't remember. Nice hiss off the top. Twist off, nice little Victoria Crown. You guys can take a look at the bottle. You may have seen this at home. I do believe they distribute this in the United States. As you can see, my glass is already fogging up, and it's because it's hot as hell out here, not because the glass is frosted. Boom, all right, nice little pour there. As you can see, it's sudsy sudsy, bubbles on the top. We got a one finger head of kind of off-white bubbles. They're sort of eggshell colored, not white. Lots and lots of active bubbles coming up from the bottom. It's sort of a caramel yellow color. If I look up to the light, you can, it's, let me see, I'll wipe the chill haze off. It's perfectly clear when you wipe the chill haze off the glass. You can see right through it. Lots of bubbles. You see that head's going away real quick when I swirl it. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of clingy lacing and no alcohol legs at all, especially not, you know, expected at, at uh, 4% ABV. Let's get a nose on this bad boy, see what's going down. Really super caramelly sweet, like like sickeningly sweet almost. A little bit corny. You can smell the lager yeast slightly. I don't detect any hops at all on this. And that's about it. There's not much going on here. It's a, it's basically caramel sweet, no hops, a little corny, and some lager yeast. Let's get a taste on this. It. Yeah, it's hot, and I'm ready. Well, it's better than Corona. It's super watery. Um, I've had Superior Morena also, and that's uh, Vienna Lager also, and it's way better than this, way better mouthfeel. A lot, lot more real beer feeling in your mouth, especially the carbonation on this is fairly high. Um, I don't know what it is about Modelo, but most of their products just suck. I don't mind Modelo regular so much. Corona is, is crap. I guess they are just really that like lower end tier. The Quacmontec Montezuma, that's owned by Heineken, they seem to make a more Euro style macro beer. That's a taste of a little bit better quality. This is just super, super thin. It really tastes like nothing except corn and kind of like stale caramel. It's, it's okay. I could drink this from top to bottom like it's nothing. And you could sit out in the sun and drink it. But it, hell, it's not even in a can. So you can't take it to the beach. What the hell? Um, all in all, it's an okay beer. But it's some, not, not anything I would seek out again or drink again. I would buy the Superior product any day over this. And a lot of other beers any day over this. I'm going to give this one a, a C. Actually, I like Soul better than this, I think. Of course, I was at the beach. So that could have skewed my uh, my rating down there. Let me take another sip here. Yeah. Um, oh, what what do the other guys think? I forgot to tell you that. Rape beer's given it a 10, and Beer Advocate given given a 69. And now that I've taken another taste for the style and everything, um, yeah, I'm definitely giving this a C. That you know, I, I guess I gave the Soul a C plus because uh, it was more like an adjunct lager should taste. This is like. Not, it's so watery and, and faint and just nothing. Anyways, I got a better beer for my next review, I think. I found some craft beer down here. So, like I said, this one's like sex in a canoe, fucking close to water. Um, yeah, to the next review, guys, remember, think globally, drink locally, support the craft beer movement, 
and not the macro beer movement. Um, I can't recommend this one until the next time. Thanks a million, and that's a big peace out.